Hey guys, I'm Kimberly from Fat Quarter Shop, and today I'm gonna show you my top 10 pantographs that I pick when I send my quilt off to my long arm quilter. So a pantograph is a computer generated design that they're gonna use to quilt all three layers of your quilt together. When you're watching the video, pay attention to the scale of the design that I'm using and the thread color I'm using. I always want my quilting to blend into the quilt and not take away from the design. So let's get started. This is the Rolling Hills Echo Pantograph. It's a round design that looks like clamshells. For geometric quilts with lots of square corners, I like to soften it with the round designs. This quilt has so many colors and prints, but the little design accents and doesn't distract from the rest of the quilt. This is a directional design, so I use it on square quilts. That way you can't go wrong with the direction of the quilting. This pantograph is called Small Rose. It's a fun floral and I like to use it on small, cute projects. I love that it is small and dense quilting. You're gonna see that with all of my quilts. I like dense quilting so that there's not a lot of open space and puffiness. The smaller the quilt, the smaller I want my pantograph to be. This one is called Funky Fans. It reminds me of one of my favorite quilting motifs, the Baptist fan. There are several pantographs in my top 10 that have an echoing circle Again, this is directional, so I use this on a square quilt so I don't have to worry about the direction that it lands. This is my favorite pantograph of all time. I use it most often. It's called the Fast Flower. It's a round swirling rose design with little petals. It's very balanced, even while adding some cuteness to your design. If I could only use one pantograph the rest of my life, it would be this one because it works with almost everything. You will also notice I rarely have leaves in my pantographs. This is one of the few that will have a leaf. This quilt is an example of taking the quilt block and using that as inspiration for my quilting design. Also on this, I'm very picky about my thread color in all of my quilting. I never want my thread color to take away from the quilt blocks that I've done. And that thread color also worked well with our backing fabric. This is another pantograph that has the Baptist fan look. It's called a continuous Baptist fan. Now, because this is a directional print, I made sure to tell my quilter where the top of the quilt was and the bottom of the quilt so that the fan would look really nice. I also wanted to show you this mini socialites quilt. This is the same pantograph on a very tiny scale. And this is an example of how I like to scale my pantograph to the size of my quilt blocks. I also really love feathers in my quilting. This is called a jore. It's a cute, playful feather that I love on this happy quilt. It helps lead your eye around the whole quilt so you can enjoy the colorful blocks. Here's another quilt where I use the quilt blocks to inspire my quilt design. I picked a chicken wire so that it would have the farm look and I also scaled it pretty small. This is another classic quilting motif called the orange peel. I like to use geometric prints like this for brighter and more modern quilts. It's fun, simple, and I love it with the basic squares and rectangles. And last, but definitely not least, is the rainbow heart pantograph. This is another pantograph with a Baptist fan, but there's also a heart, so I use the design of the quilt blocks to inspire my quilting. And I wanted to make sure that the scale of this didn't distract, so I did a slightly bigger scale since my blocks were slightly bigger. I hope this video gives you some inspiration on designs to inspire your long arm quilter. And if you wanna see more videos like this, subscribe comment and let me know your favorite pantograph and if you want to know the exact pantograph or who quilted these quilts everything is in the description box see you next time